I think I might have caught a glimpse of the future. A couple of weeks ago, I did a hangout with the developers from the RG Pilot project who are having their, in fact, two hangouts, having their unconference in Canberra, Australia. And during one of the live flying events, one of the evenings, we saw a Sky Viper V2450 GPS holding its position using an optical flow sensor. And what should pop up on social media this week and on YouTube? But a, a video clip of the stand at the New York Toy Fair and also from Scattered Adventures, an image, a box image of the new Sky Viper Fury stunt drone. And they say that it includes a thing called surface scan, and that's obviously the position hold. So maybe it's a coincidence, maybe Tridge just happened to be testing that, but maybe in the short video clip that I'll play now from the longer hangout, you'll see the first live action of the Fury in action. We've got Tridge with an optical flow enabled Sky Viper. That's this one here. It's not using GPS, that's using just optical flow to hold position, and it's estimating the height using the optical flow sensor without a range finder. And so even in this low light, it's actually managing to hold position against the wind. And if I turn off the optical flow hold, you'll see what happens. Let's take it oh, look at that. And show you what happens if I turn off the... That's without the optical flow. And you see I'm having to fight it all the time, and it's constantly moving, right? And so it starts drifting, and then I'll turn on the optical flow now, and now it'll work out its height... And now it's worked out what its height is and automatically dials in the flow. And is that optical flow using the camera on board or another sensor fitted? No, it's not using it during flight. Uh, uh, it's another sensor. There's a tiny little, um, tiny little Pixar. We're going to integrate them all into the one mode with GPS. So I'm struggling to, to track that. It's too small. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a, a tiny, tiny little uh, flow camera just uh, stuck to the bottom of it. If you pull apart a current. Sky Viper, you can actually see on the bottom of the board where that might fit. <laughs> now, I've got mine in my hand now. Uh, I don't know because we've moved house. I don't know where my little screwdrivers are. Otherwise, I'll be doing that right now. Um, so I, I presume the pinouts are, are there on the bottom um, somewhere for it then. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Doing something funny with it. Uh, uh, just playing with the controller. I'm trying to uh, break it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. That's... Um, so cool. Sid's done a bunch of work on the Sky Viper stuff with, with Andrew, so they're playing around with, with that. We've got a um, just another little brightly lit aircraft here. That Sky Viper is too hard to, to track while I'm trying to keep you in frame with the phone. Um, so we've got a an X8 here with some LEDs, but that's a VTOL X8 with wing extensions. That'll go for a fly in a little while. 